respected sir and dear fellows assalamu alaikum my name is ali hamza today our topic is dna model and central dogma and my group members are muhammad abdullah muhammad usman laiba habib riba said muhammad asim ramzan muhammad ahmed salim rana muhammad simar mahnur salim and misbah choudhry in this world allah almighty creates similarities among you your forefathers a sacred relation more precious than anything else and your descendants as we know that we are going to discuss the dna model and central dogma first of all we will discuss what is the definition what is the location what are the functions components of dna basic structure of nucleotides erwin chargaff rules discovery double helical structure x ray diffraction pattern dna replication central dogma and dna mutation biology is the most powerful technology ever created proteins are hardware cells are factories and dna is software so let's start our presentation with dna which is the abbreviation of deoxyribonucleic acid the name comes from structure which is a sugar and phosphate backbone which have bases sticking out from it next is dna definition it is a molecule composed of two polynucleotide chains that coil around each other to form a double helix carrying genetic instructions for development functioning growth reproduction of all organisms and many viruses और डी एन ए की हाफ लाइफ फाइव ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स होती है डैट मीन्स एवरी बॉन्ड वुड बी डिस्ट्रॉयड इन सिक्स पॉइंट एट मिलियन ईयर्स नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट ऑफ आवर डी एन ए सिक्वेंस इज द सेम एज अदर ह्यूमेंस और नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में हम इसका स्ट्रक्चर भी देख सकते हैं विच इज़ अ डबल हेलिक्स नेक्स्ट इज द लोकेशन ऑफ डी एन ए मोस्ट ऑफ द डी एन एज लोकेटेड इन द सेल न्यूक्लियस इसका ज़्यादातर हिस्सा चूँकि सेल न्यूक्लियस में पाया जाता है तो इसको हम यहाँ पर न्यूक्लियर डी एन ए भी कहते हैं न्यूक्लियस में जेनेटिक मटेरियल की प्रेजेंस मल्टीपल लीनियर डीएनए मॉलिक्यूल्स की फॉर्म में होती है विच इज़ ऑर्गेनाइज्ड इनटू स्ट्रक्चर कार्ड क्रोमोसोम्स डीएनए इज आल्सो फाउंड इन द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज अ डबल मेम्ब्रेन बाउंडेड ऑर्गेनेली फाउंड इन योक्रियोटिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड इट इज़ आल्सो नॉन एज पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल इसमें डीएनए की तकरीबन 16,500 बेस पेयर्स होती हैं जो कि टोटल का सिर्फ वन बनती हैं और इसमें थर्टी सेवन भी होती हैं एंड नेक्स्ट इज़ दी फंक्शन ऑफ डी DNA performs a lot of functions. First of all, DNA is the informatory molecule. ये information को store करता है proteins को बनाने के लिए Genetic information एक nucleic acid chain के साथ bases की sequence की form में store होती है ये bases एक दूसरे के साथ hydrogen bond के जरिए पेज बनाती हैं और इसी base pairing की वजह से DNA के double helical structure की formation होती है And these instructions are distributed among 46 long structures, which are known as chromosomes. Chromosomes are made up of thousand or shorter segments called genes. And next is the components of DNA. DNA का एक स्टैंड न्यूक्लियोटाइड से मिलकर बनता है जो मजीद एक शुगर फॉस्फेट ग्रुप और नाइट्रोजनस बेसिस से मिलकर बनता है इन सिंपल वर्ड्स ये एक पोलिन्यूक्लेटाइड है जो स्मॉलर यूनिट्स यानी न्यूक्लेटाइड से बनता है और इसके तीन कंपोनेंट हैं एक शुगर मॉलिक्यूल विच इज़ अ फाइव कार्बन शुगर नंबर टू अ फॉस्फेट ग्रुप एंड नंबर थ्री नाइट्रोजनस बेसिस नाइट्रोजनस बेसिस आर द मॉलिक्यूल्स डेट कंटेन नाइट्रोजन एंड हैज द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अ बेस नाइट्रोजनस बेसिस विच आर फाउंड इन डी एन ए आर एडिनिन गानिन साइटोसिन थाइमिन प्योरिन इन डी एन ए आर द एडिनिन एंड गानिन वाइल फेरिमिडाइन आर साइटोसिन एंड थाइमिन आवर इंटायर डी एन ए सिक्वेंस इज कॉल्ड जीनोम एंड देर इज एन एस्टिमेटेड थ्री बिलियन बेसिस इन आवर जीनोम अगर हम इसको कंप्यूटर पर टाइप करना चाहें इस कंप्लीट जीनोम को तो हमें पचास साल लग जाएंगे अगर हमारी स्पीड टॉप हो यानी सिक्सटी वर्ड्स पर मिनट सो डेट्स माई ऑल एंड नाउ इट इज़ अप टू यू लाइबा Thank you so much Hamza for giving such useful information regarding the functions and components of DNA. Assalamu alaikum to all. My name is Laiba Habib and my presentation topics include the structure and functions of purines and pyrimidines, secondly the discovery of DNA and lastly the replication of DNA. Before starting my presentation, I would like to share some words of Richard Dawkins that DNA neither cares nor knows dna just is and we dance to its music these lines simply means that whatever we are all it's all because of dna so moving to our first slide which is about the nitrogen bases so there are two types of nitrogen bases named as purines and pyrimidines purines in dna consist of adenine and guanine whereas the pyrimidines in dna consist of cytosine and thiamine If we talk about their size, purines are larger than pyrimidines. 
Moving forward, we should talk about the structures of purines and pyrimidines. They both are nitrogen containing bases. The main difference between purines and pyrimidines is that purines consist of six membered and five membered nitrogen containing ring which is fused together. On the other hand, pyrimidines have only a six membered nitrogen containing ring. Moving forward about the functions of purines and pyrimidines. Both purines and pyrimidines serve the same function in DNA. The most important functions of purines and pyrimidines is the construction of DNA and RNA. When paired with purines, pyrimidines serves as building block for DNA, which is the basis for our genes and chromosomes. Secondly, this serves as a form of energy for cells. And lastly, they also help in the regulation of enzymes. Moving forward, our next topic is Chagas rule. Chagas rule states that in DNA, there is always equality in quantity between the bases adenine and thiamine and between the bases guanine and cytosine. Now, the question arises that which factors are responsible for equality in quantity between the bases? To answer this question, in 1949, Chagov discovered that proportions of bases in DNA depends on the species that DNA comes from. Now our next slide is about the discovery of DNA. DNA was first discovered in 1869 by Swiss researcher Frederick Mischer, who was originally trying to study the composition of white blood cells. Instead of white blood cells, he was successfully found a molecule which he called as nuclein. Now uh, we should talk about the structure of DNA. So there are two types of structures as proposed by many scientists. The first structure was proposed by Watson and Crick which is the double helical structure of DNA. Double helix is description of structure of DNA molecule. A DNA molecule consists of two strands that went around each other like a twisted ladder. Each strand has a backbone made up of alternating groups of sugar and phosphate. Next is X-ray diffraction pattern. At King College London, Rosalind Franklin obtained images of DNA using X-ray crystallography. Franklin's images allowed James Watson and Crick to create their famous two-strand or double helical model. Our last topic is DNA replication. Before starting DNA replication, we should know that there are three types of DNA, named as ADNA, BDNA, and ZDNA. BDNA is the most common DNA conformation and is the right-handed helix, whereas A is the right-handed double helix similar to BDNA. And ZDNA is a left-handed DNA where the double helix winds to the left in a zigzag pattern. DNA replication is the biological process of producing two identical replicas of DNA from one original DNA molecule. DNA replication occurs in all living organisms acting as the most essential part for biological inheritance. Now, which are the three major steps involved in the replication of DNA? The first step is the opening of double helix and the separation of DNA strands. Secondly, the priming of template strands and the assembly of the new DNA segment. And lastly, the elongation of the DNA strands and the termination of the strands which results in the replication of the DNA molecule. Now, this is all from my side. Now I would like to invite Ms. Ba, which will further describe the terms central dogma, transcription and translation. Now up to you Ms. Ba. Thank you Laiba. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Ms. Ba Chaudhary and I am going to present my part which includes central dogma and DNA mutation. Central dogma includes the processes which convert the information in DNA into functional product, what we call proteins. It was first proposed by the Francis Crick in 1958, the discoverer of the structure of DNA. Let's move on to the first step, transcription. 
This is the copying of the DNA information into small portable RNA messages. In the first step initiation, RNA polymerase to bind to the newly formed DNA promoter. DNA starts to unwind. RNA polymerase recognizes each base and according to it starts inserting complementary base pairs. The RNA polymerase completes the messenger RNA synthesis and detached once it reached the termination sequence. The single-stranded mRNA is now called transcript. This is similar in structure and properties to DNA and contains uracil instead of thiamine. Before its release in cytoplasm, there are some modifications include splicing, capping, and addition of a poly-A tail only in case of eukaryotes. mRNA is directly used in translation. The smaller and larger ribosomal subunit bind to the mRNA transcript at its binding site. The process starts when methionine is recognized by the tRNA, the carrier molecule which reads the message in mRNA. Ribosomal RNA catalyzes the entire elongation phase. Once the termination of codon is reached, peptidyl transfer RNA stops the synthesis of the polypeptide chain. These chains later join to form proteins, which carry out most of the vital functions of a cell. Interestingly, we can say transcription is the encoding of information, while translation is the decoding of information present in mRNA to form proteins. Our last slide is DNA mutation, which is the change in DNA sequence either due to the mistakes in replication of DNA or as a result of environmental factors such as UV light, smoking, and radiation. Mutation may also result from insertion or deletion of segments of DNA. They cause genetic variations within species. They can be inherited if they have a positive effect. They can also disrupt normal gene activity, causing the most common human genetic disease, cancer. And that's all about our presentation. Thank you so much for your attention.